people are leading the way with the Vision Pro at the moment. Uh, and that is an early but amazing kind of tool giving us like an insight to what things might might become and unlocking whole new kind of digital worlds and way of working in the physical space. But also, um, you know, if you look at the next trends of, of the next generations coming up, they place a lot of value on digitally native things. Yeah, so I, th I think a lot of us are in the same position here where we are knowing that this big change is coming, that this this future in this decade probably is going to move faster than ever before, as every decade it tends to. Um, but yeah, it's trying to kind of cut through the noise and really work out what uh, AI tools and what does the future look like and how is it helpful for your business right now today, I think. So, I mean, broadly speaking, the opportunities, uh, you know, inefficiency is, is the obvious one, really. I think the concept of AI as a co-pilot is great. So um, it's a good framework to work from. If you imagine yourself having an assistant in your work, that is generally a helpful thing to bounce ideas off and to summarize notes and to help you design presentations or, or assist coding or, or whatever it is that's helpful for you. Microsoft Copilot and ChatGPT being obvious examples of that. I think that's a really helpful concept and efficiency within the workplace. Giving everybody a digital assistant it is a useful way to, to think about it. Other things very quickly, and obviously it's, um, you know, very much depends on what your business does, but the sort of speed of development and product testing is great with, with AI for mock-ups, being able to visualize uh, how something could look for clients and things like that is, um, is another practical, efficient way that you can use uh, a lot of these tools and the ones that work well and are kind of ready to do that. Um, you know, things like trend uh, prediction and pattern analysis, if you're more data driven, that's an amazing tool. Uh, obviously, you want to keep that data within your own business and, and use things that are kind of local to you and, and maybe not uh, public to everybody else. But uh, being able to, to pattern analyze, maybe spot potential mistakes or flag uh, errors that could happen or spot trends in your market. Super helpful thing that AI can, can help you do at speed and quickly. Uh, customer experience is another really quick one and um, being able to personalize that we've had kind of AI chatbots or you know or chatbots that use uh, decision trees and things that are a bit simple for customer experiences now we're getting really advanced uh, almost human like chatbots so that kind of experience uh, customer experience can be really helpful can uh, help uh, with great recommendations and take some of the load off of you of directing people in the right places and that's becoming genuinely helpful and useful as well um yeah so i think they're probably the, the key things really like um, efficiency and being able to test things fast uh, that you can use within your business again the thing that is hovering in a lot of people's minds and, and in your workforce is is you know jobs and am i going to be replaced and all that stuff and, that, and that's quite nuanced and there will be changes you know if you think very simply there used to be people obviously design you know making spreadsheets that were handwritten and and very neatly created and as computers came along and that all got digitized that specific job you know wasn't massively relevant anymore but the fact that you can then scale your business even quicker than ever before opened up new opportunities and new jobs at a higher level so it is a positive thing overall uh, but other challenges we mentioned about the data you're using so um you know things like chat gpt are, are large language models that are generally trained on what you are putting in so being able to to lock off your data with what they call local models so things that you know are are local or specific to your company i think that's important to just be aware of uh and and things like data bias as well as is a big topic so depending on what you're training it on if you train it on some bias then your output might be biased as well so that so things like that are important to to kind of uh, just be aware of that not everything it spits out might be gold it's, it's there to kind of to help you um and not use, losing the human component completely, I think, is is also very important, especially if that is core to your business. You know, people still can can spot what isn't human. Um, I always use this strange example, uh, but I think it's kind of a helpful way to think about things. If you were to, you know, like a uh, an electric sort of keyboard or piano um, has often a demo feature where you can press the, the demo button and, and it plays a tune automatically. And that's not AI really, that's just a pre-programmed or, or recorded tune. But that's not really massively impressive to anyone if you were to play that for them and like, yeah, the computer's doing it. But if, if a human was uh, came into the room and played that exact same piece, played it in front of you, you'd be like, that's amazing. That's that's incredible that you can do that. So I think this 
human com component is always really relevant still uh so that's something that sometimes get gets missed so i think that's helpful for people to hear as well if they think about how this is going to disrupt things i think humans still need a human connection the component as well so yeah some quick things to think about there yeah this is a, a big question obviously um and and generally i think when emerging technologies are born they don't quite work as well as you want them to for a while and then suddenly it kind of flips you have the iphone moment if you like uh, and then it begins to take kind of big market share and change things noticeably for, for most people um and you know i think we've started to hit that with the with consumer products chat gpt was obviously felt like the iphone moment for the kind of ai tools broadly going public the there's lots of emerging trends that are all kind of coming together for this future one of the big ones is spatial computing and obviously apple are leading the way with the vision pro at the moment uh and that is an early but amazing kind of tool giving us like an insight to what things might might become and unlocking whole new kind of digital worlds and way of working in the physical space but also um you know if you look at the next trends of, of the next generations coming up they place a lot of value on digitally native things as well so that's something that, that i think is really interesting when you look at the kind of digital economy and things in video games which is the dominant entertainment culture now of uh you know selling things like skins and digital fashion items this whole sort of separate digital economy is pretty fascinating and related to all this stuff as well so yes i think th those changes are going to be really important they're really important to know about now um just to to you know prepare yourself for, for what is coming in my opinion